Every so often you think, you may wonder, by the way, why am I uh, in this strange position here? It's because the cat has got the chair. So I'm kneeling down. Which I should be, of course, because I'm, I'm practically on my knees in misery at the present government. And I think, you know, anybody who agrees with me must be uh, a positive. And then I found this little video. Shall I play it for you now? I've had a good working relationship with him. He has many good qualities. The trouble is he can't just keep living in a parallel universe. Um, there has to be reality. You see, he agrees with me. Isn't that great? And then you realise, then you have to start thinking, who is this person? Well, this person is Neil Parrish, and he was complaining uh, in the press a while ago, uh, about a month ago or so, that um, he's had a lot of paparazzi, paparazzi interest outside his house, people shouting abuse at him. It's enough to frighten anybody. I don't frighten easily, he says. And he had a couple of death threats, and he's got all these cameras outside his house, um, and David Amos lives a few doors down from him. Uh, he, he didn't want to uh, upset his wife. Uh, he's very thoughtful about his wife. Um, and he spent uh, the whole three days trying to make sure they didn't have the house in full view of the cameras. I think I largely managed to succeed in that, he says, in a sort of self-congratulatory way, rather like uh, Gillian Keegan. Uh, it's not easy, and then you go to the chief whip and ask for help you expect it, and you're thrown over the side of the ship, and then you're left to drown. That's how it works. And fine, I, I saw former chief whip Mark Spencer on the podcast, Telegraph podcast, saying how they how caring they all were, but I need to put it on record. They're not. They're not. He's a 66-year-old farmer. Now, have you worked out who he is yet? And he wasn't feeling in the best place. Uh, having blown up his parliamentary career um, of 12 years, he claimed that he had been left to drown by the former chief whip and really rather nice man, Chris Heaton-Harris, in the wake of the scandal which broke amid accusations of misogyny, sexual misconduct and perhaps uh, infidelity to his wife because he was caught on the green benches of the House of Commons watching tractor porn. And, you know, uh, he, he tried to produce some sort of explanation, but, you know, if it's a Massey Ferguson that floats your boat and does your thing, then I suppose, how do you explain that? It's very difficult to explain your affection for a Massey Ferguson, green or red, you know. I don't suppose he's hugely prejudiced. But he has disgraced the... Uh, office that he held. He's disgraced the office of uh, a member of parliament. Uh, he's disgraced the Conservative Party. He's disgraced the benches on which he sits in the House of Parliament. And he expects concern. Uh, I, I, I think he expects too much. And now he pontificates about the Prime Minister. Well, I happen to think he's right. I happen to think that the Prime Minister is living in some sort of parallel universe where he's asked to support 400 schools per year and he offers to support 500 over 10 years uh, and then appeals to what's been happening in the past. Well, in the past, people didn't know, we assume people didn't know about aerated concrete and the dangers of that. Well, of course, they did know, but they weren't taking that into account. Now they've got the new information. He insists on continuing with exactly the same number of uh, school refurbishment programmes that have been going on in the past and thinks that's reasonable enough. We'll do another video about that. But, I mean, you know, Rishi Sunak is living in some sort of robotic alternative reality and Neil Parrish is quite right to point that out. But is Neil Parrish the right person to depend on? I don't think so, but I thought this might entertain you. ...relationship with him. He has many good qualities. The trouble is he can't just keep living in a parallel universe. Um, there has to be reality. And thus speaks the voice of experience, somebody who has found his own way back from the fantasy world of tractor um, fiction to the real world of installing cameras around his house and uh, evading the paparazzi. There has to be reality.